each lot. So I've picked 50 of these bricks up. And I've got maybe half a ton of sand well aggregate with stones in. I've got another six of these steps here, but they're made of concrete, four bags of cement. Uh, I'll show you how much that's going to cost me. So we're in a huge warehouse lot in Bratislava. Now if I'd have bought this lot in in uh, Austria, I would have paid, I guess, 120 euro for this, no problem. Because uh, they're five each, so there's 20, but there are only two here. So I'll save uh, 12 euro there. They're five, they'll probably be double that in in there and the bricks are a, a lot cheaper here anyway so we'll show you when we get there i've got to go and pay for it we, we got flooded in the barbecue area again last night this is my next project and this is why i'm doing it and you see all that mud that's all mud 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 gone in there it goes in there and it gets up to three and four inches deep in in the back there and what happens is you can see um, this is on a gradient it's going uphill and when it rains that guttering leaks there and it runs down and it runs and it flows in there and we had a real downpour last night really torrential rain and that's what happens so this is what i'm going to do so got it all out got it leveled and i'll concrete that tomorrow so it's all nice and level, so we'll be able to go around the back of that. That's to the access to the sewers. Um, so I've obviously got to go around that. Uh, and then when all that's uh, done, maybe, I don't know, four inch thick, and I should be able to build on top of that with bricks. So this is how far I've got. I don't know if I've shown you this before, but I've done around there, and I'm going to go around with these bricks and, and build it up, step it up, so as it matches each height and this wall, back wall will be maybe a foot or 18 inches something like that and then I can bring this soil back down behind it and it'll be like a retaining wall uh, and I'm putting these they're actually made of concrete but they're brown and made to look like wood uh, putting these steps in uh, trying to keep them in line so they miss those stairs down there that's the important bit is that they've got to miss those stairs uh, you do know I had two trees here before well just right at the edge of the step there because I'm making each step about a yard long uh, and right at the edge of the step just happens to be where the old tree was and it's not deep enough it's got to come out I've been hacking away at it at the with the axe and um, I'm not getting anywhere because it's just absolutely sodden wet through and when you stick the axe in it it just sticks and it won't break off any pieces because it's wet like a sponge so I've got to dig down around this cut it out with a, a cutter and uh, get down at least another four to five inches and then I can concrete on top of that because you can see un under that step there I've, I've dug it out and I'll fill that up with concrete and flatten it out so it looks like that edge there or like that edge or like that edge up the top there and uh, I've got another maybe nine steps to go I've got enough material up here for maybe two steps uh, that's the sand over there I've got a lot of bricks but I'm going to go into Bratislava today because it, it looks like it could rain and I don't want to do any concreting but I can prepare that get that ready and tomorrow the forecast good and hopefully we'll get two or three steps done tomorrow and um, I can go into Bratislava and get more material more bricks more cement more aggregate and more of these steps because I need more of these concrete wooden style steps so we'll do that and I'll bring you up to date uh, tomorrow when we've got another couple of steps in or when we get down to the end of those steps I'll show you what I'm going to do there see you later okay fellas uh, sun's going down now I can't do any more well I could but I don't want to be working till dark it's quarter past eight now and this is what I've been doing give you a general idea of what it's going to look like I've been putting this brickwork all these are laid they're laid there's a, one of those steps like that going right there and uh, 
so I've done this brickwork. This will probably be about four high to retain that that wall there. This will be about three, maybe four high till here, and step down one. So I'll be, be stepping down all the time, you see, or stepping up whichever way I'm working. Okay, so we're just building this retaining wall now, and uh, obviously we've got to get everything level. And make sure that everything's level. Tap it down. Take off this excess because I've got much stuff left, and then just check it through. Uh, and it just wants to go down a shade. And the shade more and now you can see with that spirit level there that that is exactly spot on okay so that's exactly right and if you stand behind me here Jason and just film that that you'll see that the bond is correct to what I mean by the bond is you know guys in the building tree or know what I mean is that this joint is level with that joint when they start wandering off then it's not a good job. These things need to be level. I'm taking this wall four bricks high and when it's really gone off and I'm scraping out I'm scraping out this stuff and I'll tell you why I'm scraping it out because the sand what they use in Austria is like grit. There's lots of grit in it so you can't point it. So what I'll do is I'll scrape out this crap and then um, when it's gone off, I'll get some real sand and cement and I'll point that up and it'll look really nice. So I've left the wall because now we've got this, taken this stump out or part of the stump so we can get some depth on the concrete. Couldn't get no depth on it before. So we've removed this stump and now, and you can see it's just slightly running downhill, which is what I want it to do because I don't want the water laying on it. If any water comes down, I want it to run off. So. It, you can see with the level it's slightly downhill and now I'm just going to trowel it up a little bit uh, I'm waiting for some more cement or concrete and uh, I'll just let it go up a bit and just trowel it up roughly and then come back to it in a couple of hours when it's starting to go off and it will trowel, trowel up really nice and get rid of these, these place, places like this then some stuff holes in the concrete and it should start to look quite nice in a day or two and it hopefully will solve our problem of uh, the water running down here okay I think that's enough for now I just need to do the other half and, uh, and get it filled in so let's move around the way and I've got all these knee pads here because my knees are shot it really anyway okay so that's that So there you can see half a step left to do yet and uh, oh here's the cement or concrete I keep saying cement and everybody's working Jesse's filming Alice is bringing concrete and Ivan's mixing <laughs> and I'm laying okay you want that or you got to Okay. How many so I'm just going to give you a sneak peek now so these are not laid I've just put them here just to see how many I want so it's going to look well something like what you can see I've got to scrape the joints out yet and point it with some different uh, cement I want it to look and I might put caps on it I'm not sure but all that's done that's done that's done that's done and that's done uh, this here I've just laid them just laid them down just to see how many I want so I want to, uh, roughly about 40 for each step now. Uh, so I've got enough for this step and this step. Then I want one, two, three, four, five, six, and across there, seven, four, seven, eight, nine, nine forties, four nines, 45, is it? 450, 500 bricks. Another 500, but they're not expensive. So I'll go and buy 250 at a time, I think. There we are. 
So I'm going to just step that up. Don't need to do it any other way. And I've just got to scrape out these joints now before it dries. And I can point them up when I get the sand. So there you go. So that's the general idea. I will go down here once more. This step's okay to go on. This one's okay to go on. And I'll just come down here. And I've marked it out every yard with these iron rods here, look. So give me some idea. So that's what it looks like. Just zoom in a bit. And there you go, it's focused now. So it's going to look nice this is, I'll be really happy with this. And it's a long, long time since I've done any bricklaying. And I'm not a bricklayer by trade, but everything is bang on level. Little update, um, I've put a couple more steps in. And I've carried on with this wall here. And, uh, and returned it to there. And when that's gone off in a couple of days, really nice and hard, I'll pull that soil back and it'll look like that up there. I've got some bricks down here and I'll be carrying on with that wall from there down to there. That's the last step I got in. And I've prepared for the next step uh, here, right here. And then there's one more step and then it flattens out and then I've got to take quite a lot of that soil away. I'm hoping it'll go beyond these walls here. Be able to get rid of it there. Um, then I'm going to dig this out and concrete that flat. And that will be for the wood storage under there. And concrete that area. So I'm thinking three or four days, you know, depending. Uh, but that's three or four days solid. Um, I've got a little bit of working with dive suits, so I'll probably get on that. So maybe a week, a week before it's completely finished anyway. So we're getting there, and you can see now how that's turning out. I don't know where to put another step in here. I'm not sure yet. And one of these brown stepping stones, short, I've got one for there, and I'll be one short there. Too short if I put a step there. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how we go. Anyway, so that's it. Here's the update. And it's coming on. I will want a little bit more material, not much. I've just got to sort out when I point the wall up. Some of these steps are not finished underneath like that one, but I'll finish them off. Real progress today. So down to the last step, and uh, just show you what I've done. Swept up a little bit. Looks pretty tidy now. Uh, one little mistake, these stepping stones here uh, have been creeping over to the left and I can't move them over to make it right because if I do then when you look down the line here it's not straight uh, if I move them, them bottom bricks over there look if I move them over the line's not straight so I'm going to have to put up with that it's not so bad I don't suppose uh, but I've got one step left to do, this one, I've dug it out, ready for the morning. Uh, then all this area to concrete here, and, and that guttering to put in at the end. And uh, I'll bring you some film when it's all done. Cheers, I think I've earned this. Ah, beautiful. Just giving you another update on the uh, steps that I'm putting in. Uh, it's looking right mess up here, this is where I'm doing all the mixing, the sand's up there. But anyway, Let's go down and have a look. I'm nearly there, another couple of days, and uh, we moved all this wood here from, from there so we could uh, uh, remove the soil and put it up here. So the soil's from down there, and uh, there's still a lot more to come out yet. And this is what I've done today. That step was done a couple of days ago, I've shown you that, and I've done this today, look. 
so this is where the wood's going to be stored so I'm stepping that down uh, this is the last area now all this is going to be concreted uh, I've got to dig it out remove this stuff build the walls there and there finish them off uh, I might continue that wall down there I'm not sure yet but anyway look just got to dig this out level all this this area there move everything from here uh, I can put the, that wood back there not tomorrow well maybe tomorrow maybe not I don't know yet we'll see and um, just this last area I'll film that and it's done so hopefully we'll stop this flooding we had a bit of rain last night but there were no floods down here I think it's all contained within this soil now and then we can move that wood down there too that's all stored here and then I've got just fell in at the bottom of these stairs there so a couple of days it'll all be done I'll take another film or I'll share it on the next video and then that's it another job done and then we'll be on the garage roof next got to do something with that garage roof I'll show you that in the next video